Hi, it's Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Juju Bee haul. This haul is a good one and includes some new stuff and some little bit older stuff. But anyway, before we get into it, I'm wearing my camping hair, don't care, and never dreamed I'd grow up to be a super sexy camping lady, but here I am killing it. Yeah, so fun stuff. I uh, don't mind my working outfit here. I've been out um, all week long, so I haven't been making videos. I rented a full-size excavator, and I've been out yanking stumps and clearing my new driveway. It's like a mile long, 50 feet wide, and anyways. It was a ton of work, and I outlasted the machine, apparently. 40 hours a week, and I did 56 hours. <laughs> Oops, so I had to pay extra days. But anyway, got it done, and here goes the GGB haul. So good to be back. So the first thing I got is the B set. This is the brand new Harry Potter Catch the Golden Snitch pattern. It's uh, basically a brown on brown. So it's a darker brown on sort of a, almost like a linen looking background texture. It's of course not textured, it's the regular jujube material, but it has this nice antique brass looking colors on the hardware. And the zipper pulls on this large set piece is the flags from Quidditch. So it's all about Quidditch, of course. You got the snitch, you got the brooms, you got the um, house letters, you got G for Gryffindor, Slytherin, you got an H for Hogwarts, you got all the different pieces and parts from Quidditch. So really fun um, idea and kind of a cool sketch pattern there. And I really actually like the inside. So I kind of wish they would have done what they did for the new emboss with the, what is it, stay salty and beach please. So they have the interior pattern as an exterior. I love when they do that. Sometimes Vera used to do that too. So you could pick and choose which accessories you wanted and they coordinate perfectly together. I love that. This interior pattern would have also been great for that as well. So this interior pattern, let me pull all this stuff out so I can show you, is it's a sort of a gray and white checkerboard background, but then it has all of the house crests and flags and it has the Hogwarts crest as well. So you'll see this better in a moment when we look at the changing pad from my next item. Um, but yeah, so I just think it would be really cool because I like that pattern a lot. It's colorful and very definitely Harry Pottery. So there you go. And the tag on this is actually a bookmark, which is kind of cool, a nice little touch. It's all about the details, right? So you get a nice little Harry Potter bookmark. So there you go. So I got that. It comes, of course, with the long strap, which is adjustable and the short strap, normal, normal set piece. I'm gonna put that silica back in there because it's humid here, but there's a bunch of them. So you got your medium and small set pieces. So the other thing about this, the small set piece is normal. It has that little zipper pull. Normally the medium has that as well, but in this case, the zipper pull on the medium piece is the Hogwarts crest zipper pull and on the back it says Harry Potter and GGB. So I think that's a really nice additional detail with this particular set that that came out that way. So there you go. Nice little bookmark. I've been doing audio books, but I think I might give that to my niece. She's doing homeschooling for this next year for because they're gonna be on a boat. That's a longer story. But anyway, so maybe I'll give it to her because I have a couple of them, obviously, because here's the other one. So this is the Hobo Bee. If you know me at all, you know I may, uh, I like this shape and size of bag. Like the Vera Bradley on the go would be a good comparison. And I think it's really between the on the go and the large on the go, probably closer to the large. Um, you know, Log has a couple bags this size as well. Kipling also. So all those bags, this is a great size for me. Um, it's bigger than I need, but smaller than I sometimes want. So <laughs> or whatever that's worth. But this is the Hobo Bee. The Hobo Bee is a shoulder bag or crossbody bag. Um, a lot of moms use this as a diaper bag, which is a nice compact size for that. I obviously don't have kids, don't have a need for a diaper bag, but there you go. Um, this has the Quidditch zipper pull on this mommy pocket. It has the skinny one on the tech pocket. We're going to go through all those. And then the top main is the Hogwarts. So it's nice that you get all of the zipper pulls in one bag. That's kind of cool. So let's look at the mommy pocket here. This is a great organizational pocket. It has a bungee key clip, which I like a lot. The only thing I don't like about it is you see it's right here in front of the zipper pocket. So it nicely aligns with the center between the two mesh pouches. So that's good. You don't have to move the key bungee to get into those, but it's right in the middle of the zipper pocket. So to get into the zipper pocket, you got to move that bungee out of the way 
and I just find that a little bit cumbersome. It's, it's not a huge deal. Obviously, it's not a showstopper for me, um, but I do kind of wish it was just off to the side, one side, because having it clipped is great. I don't need it right up the middle necessarily. I could see the advantage of it, but anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. But this pocket has its own gusset, as you can see here. It's almost two fingers, so plenty of room for pouches or other things. And then right behind that, you see this smaller pocket, and that's your tech pocket, if you will. So you put glasses or you put your phone in there, and it is fleece-lined throughout, so that's a nice touch. On the sides, you have these nice cargo pockets. They're generously sized. They have the elastic on them as well, so when they're not in use, they kind of stay kind of tucked up against the bag, a little more discreet, but they give you room for a lot of things. And because of the elastic, they're easier to get into than some of the other bags I referenced. So you can put a water bottle there, you can put your keys down in there, you can put your phone in the side pocket, you can put your glasses, whatever. Um, on the back, you have one more pocket and it's just a snap opening. So on the back, because it's the bag, you have that. But then on this side, you have the interior pattern. All right, so the strap is removable and adjustable. So let's look at the strap first. The strap is different than previous. My previous Hobo Bees had the whole strap was the fabric material um, that it's made from, but the newer ones have this nylon seatbelt strap instead. And actually that's maybe a good thing because it's, oh, sorry my brother's just driving off. Um, but so you got this and it has the same antique brass hardware. It does have a pad on it, which is removable, but it has the, the normal material and then the back is like a no slip grip. So there's that so that's the strap it also comes with a changing mat it's not a pad it's just the mat but here you can get a really good look at that interior pattern and you can see all the crests so i think it would be it was just a colorful way to add some accessory pieces if they chose to um, but these are great even if you don't have kids you don't need a changing mat they make great placemats um, especially if you have multiple items that come with them so like i have a whole set of like disney ones and mix they make great craft mats. You can use it as a, a picnic mat. You can use them to make ex other pieces, like a custom pieces people make out of extra material. So a lot of great ideas for them. So I I'm happy to get them, even though I don't have a need to use them, at least not for their intended purpose. But inside on the front of the bag, you have a mesh pocket and a zipper pocket. And on the back, you have two mesh pockets and a big zipper. And the bag itself has quite a bit of space. I mean, look at that, the base of that bag. It is um, sort of tapered, so you look at the side, and it's kind of a trapezoid shape, but definitely narrower at the top. So it, when it's full, it will stand on its own. It doesn't have feet on it, but this material is completely, you know, it's Teflon treated, so it's stain resistant, it's machine washable, it's all those great things that Jujube gives us, which I love. Okay, so that is, oops, I can't put that in because I can't zip it. Um, so that's the Hobo Bee. In Catch the Golden Snitch and at the time um, Jujube was doing a, a deal you spend a hundred you get a free bag and I, for some reason I can't think of the name of this but it's the knapsack one and this is Queen of the Nile so I I thought that deal had ended but it turns out it didn't so there we go I ended up getting that and it has a nice zipper pocket here this is fleece lined on the back it does have the upper, it's a hooded pocket, if you will, but the front side is not lined, so it's only partially fleece lined. But a nice zipper pocket on the front, and then you have side pockets here and here, and there's a seam down the middle. So they're actually much bigger pockets, like my, my hand goes all the way into there. Then so they're all the way down to this seam. So you can put a large water bottle, you can put your phone, your keys, whatever things in there, and it will stay pretty well in there. And it's mesh side there. Then you have the inside, which has no pockets, no linings there. So nice little knapsack. And thank you, Jujube, for the gift with purchase. I always love to do things like that. So that's great. All right. The next two items I got, actually, I bought them. Well, let me rephrase that. I ordered them for my sister-in-law, but she actually bought them for herself in this case. Plenty of gifts have been given, but this she bought for herself. Um, and this is the hippie. So... This is CMO 2.0 and she got the Jelly Cat on there and you open that up. It's just a slim, slim pocket. The second pocket has card slots in it, which she actually found to be very, very cool. Um, she, for some reason, I mean, she's not 
she's new to Jujube and did not know about that. So when she looked, she goes, oh, there's car slots in there. And she was really excited. So I'm happy, happy that she got that. Um, by the way, she's from South Africa. And so they do not call them fanny packs. That is a whole different thing, just like the British. Um, she calls it a moon bag, just FYI. But then the zipper pool on the top is just the Tokidoki zipper pool, which is also a nice pool. And inside this pocket, you have two slips um, that have elastic on the top, and then you have a mesh zipper across the top of the bag. Um, and the bag itself is kind of an interesting shape to it. You know, it's curved this way, but also it's it kind of comes to a point there at the bottom. Not a point point, but it's just, it's not a huge bag. It's tapered because the way it sits on your body. So it holds a lot. And then it has also this one more pocket in the back and that you can see the lining there with the different Tokidoki shapes on there. The back of it is a quilted and meshed and padded, which is very nice. It has a Jujube star on there. You can see that. So that it's a little less um, sweaty. You know, that's good. It's a little more breathable. And then it has the seatbelt strap that comes around. It's very adjustable and it has a nice clip for easy on and off. You can also wear this as a bit of a sling, which is great. I'm not sure how she's going to use it, but that's up to her to decide. But she loves the nautical theme and that is her introduction to Tokidoki. So I've got her hooked already. The other thing she wanted, and I have this already myself, this is the B set in the Teal Lagoon. This is a chromatics, uh, I want to say 3.0. But anyways, it's Chromatics line and it's a lovely teal color. I really like it. It has the rose gold fittings. The interior is, what do they call that? Champagne or something? Anyways, it's a light interior. And it's just a normal B set, but if, if you're not familiar, the Chromatics has a little bit more cloth feel to it than the um, regular Jujube material is a little more slicky. But it's still, still Teflon treated, still machine washable, and it's a little bit more slouchy material. So like that's the whole B set, all three pouches, and you can wind it up like that. So just like the other one, it has all the straps and all three pouches, but there you go. So she turns out is also a teal and purple lover and a pouch lover. So super, super hooked on GGB already. And in fact, has already placed her second order, ordered the Alice in Wonderland, it's a mad, mad world, her second B set. So welcome to GGB, sis. All right, so the, the last thing that I made, uh, I ordered in that same order was for myself. So this is actually two orders combined, but um, they were having a sale and the zipper pulls from CMO 2.0 were on sale. So I grabbed two more boxes. I know I have some already, I have a bunch of them. Um, but these are what you can get. There are eight different zipper pulls you can get. I did get five different ones, so not bad considering out of six, but, um, Nothing I didn't have already. We got Donatella, always good. I'm gonna make bag charms out of these. We got Sandy. We got Pufferfish, which I love a lot because it's purple. We got CMO. And we got two of those actually, CMO. And then I also got um, Goldie, which is fun. That's probably my niece's favorite because she loves, she wants to be a mermaid, <laughs> which is funny. It's cute. I wanted to. We used to pretend we were dolphins or mermaids when I was young growing up to swimming and whatnot. But she lives in the Caribbean up until next year they're moving here and we're gonna be neighbors, yay! Okay, so that is all for the Jujube haul, but I wanna share a few other items I got uh, while out shopping at the mall with my family. And one of the things was we went to the Hallmark store. We're actually looking for Vera, which is funny, separate story, next video. <laughs> Um, but we went, we found ourselves in a Hallmark store and my sister was here as well. And we found these um, mystery ornaments, but it was Harry Potter themed. And so I, I pulled all the wrappers off, but these are the ones you could get. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different characters you can get. And I bought six of them because it was buy one, get one half off or something like that. So. You could get Harry Potter, Hermione, Lord Voldemort, Dumbledore, Hagrid, Luna Lovegood, and a Golden Snitch. So, um, looks like the rare ones are Dumbledore, Hagrid, Luna Lovegood. Super rare is the Golden Snitch, and everything else is common. Okay, well, we'll see what we got. So, like I said, I was got six of them. So, here they are. Two. I just took the plastic off of them. 
four, five, six. So they look like this. They had a question mark and then it had mystery ornaments and Hallmark. So these are from Hallmark. And they look like a good size to make bag charms out of. So that's why I got them. I mean, I'm sure they'll make great ornaments. They're just never going to hit the tree. <laughs> oh, I got Lord Voldemort. There you go. <laughs> it's kind of a cartoony version, but it's a perfect size for a bag charm, don't you think? I mean, to just put some beads on there and a little clip on it. It's very, also a great size for an ornament, but they're kind of a, like a hard rubber material. So I, again, that's kind of what made me think. I mean, they might be a little bit, like their neck might be the weak point, but you know, as long as you're not super duper hard on your bag charms, that could work. So we got Voldemort, maybe I'll leave it out see what else we get and these little um, boxes they come in actually are kind of reusable because they just snap right back together so you can store your ornaments in there if you want so let's see if they stand up I think so oh oh shoot well it just <laughs> fell down the hole in the middle of the table he's gone probably forever I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him out so let me just block that hole. That won't happen again. Never mind. Ah, Harry Potter. <laughs> Nothing like making a buffoon of yourself on live TV or whatever. We're not live, but yeah. So I'm not gonna leave it out. You saw Harry. Harry's going back in the box in over there. Okay. I'm not losing any more. Hey, good thing we got another one. <laughs> Yay! So my backup is now live in play. <laughs> okay. So we got Harry and Voldemort twice on that one. Let's see what else we got. Hagrid. They are cute though. And they're just, like I said, they're such a good size. And they're pretty robust. And they're rubber, so you can't hurt them. Banging them around and stuff. I don't know why I'm having trouble closing it. It's not that hard. Okay. Hagrid again. So I'm not even going to take him out. So we got it back up there, and let's see what else. <gasps> Hermione! She's cute. Get the string out of the way. There's Hermione. Okay, so that is those. But it turns out, if you haven't been watching, my sister-in-law is a huge Harry Potter fan. She also loves Nightmare Before Christmas. I got up. Dang it. Uh, but she bought me a gift. Uh, they went out shopping when I was working pulling trees. And she got me this Tervis mug, which is super cool. It's a giant size, 24 ounce tumbler. Don't let the muggles get you down. <laughs> That's so cool. So it has a nice slide top, you know, it's Tervis. It's a nice mug, so that's cool. And we were shopping together. We were at, um, I wanna say we're at Walmart, the unofficial Harry Potter spell book. So she was gonna get one for her. I thought, oh, that's cool. I don't know how much they were, like a dollar, I don't know, they were cheap. But she bought me one too, which is so cool because she knows I like Harry Potter. And so what it is, it shows each of the spells and it shows the wand movements to make it happen. It shows you how to say it. It says how to use it, what the etymology is of it, and the magic moment where it was used in the movie. Like, for example, um, let me see, Ridiculous. It says, magic moment. In Prisoner of Azkaban, third year students need to climb into a trunk and defeat the Bogart with this spell as part of their third, their end of year exams. So there you go. Anyway, cool. So she bought me that as well. I thought that was just sweet. Um, and while we were out shopping, I came across a couple of things. I, we were at the mall, so I did go to Bath and Body Works. And I always have hand sanitizer. I mean, I think that's one of the things that pre-pandemic, um, I was using a lot because you know, if I catch a cold, I spend a month puking in the hospital. So I've taken to keeping, I just made a mess of that everywhere because <laughs> it oozed out. Um, I just carry it everywhere all the time. I always have one on and or in my bags. I have them in my car, in my house. I have them everywhere. Um, I just got it on the table. Uh, this particular one is Japanese cherry blossom, which is nice. But the point of all that is I found this adorable spooky cat um, holder you know, bag charm, and it's glow in the dark, so you can't tell, like, it's kind of in the shade, but it does, in fact, glow, which is really fun, and it also makes a noise if you squeeze its head in the right place. Hey, 
super cute anyways got that and then I also found this one was from I think from Walmart it was super cheap but I'm going to Disney in September uh, September and October and so I thought that was perfect just to throw on my backpack going into Disney World and any of those parks so I got that one as well and that's not Bath and Body Works it's just some off-brand and that is it for this haul thank you so much for watching and joining me it's good to be back and I hope everybody's having a great summer we'll see you again soon bye for now